Davy the Shepherd Boy. Long ago, in the days of the king Saul of Israel, a boy named David helped his seven brothers look after their father's flocks. So he was the youngest. David was a strong, brave boy who loved and trusted God. He lived in the town of Bethlehem. Once a lion attacked the frog to the snakes a deer them for supper. Young David attacked the attacker, pulling the dam away. He grabbed the strong beast by its beard and killed it. David knew God had helped him. Samuel God's prophet was still said that King Saul had failed God so badly. How long would you mourn for Saul? God scolded Samuel. I am sending you to Jesse, for I have provided myself a king among his sons. Jesse was David's father. Even though some knew King Saul, King Saul might kill him for going to find another king, the prophet obeyed God. When Samuel arrived, Jesse made seven of his sons pause before Samuel, and Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen this that only David, David, the youngest, he was out with the sheep. They brought David in, and the girl said, Arise, anoint him, for this is the one. In Saul's place, the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and he became a very troubled man. His servant thought good music must set through Saul's mind. One of them knew a young man who played the harp well. Can you guess who that young man was? Yes, David. David's music soothed Saul and helped him to think straight. So, asked Jesse to date David stay in the king's service. Whenever Saul had an attack of depression, of fear, David prayed hard for him, it helped. After David went home, Saul had a big battle with the Philistines. David's brothers fought in Saul's armies. Jesse sent David to the battle ground to take food to his brothers and find out how they were. A huge Philistine giant, Goliath, has scared old Israelite, old Israelite soldiers. Choose the man for yourselves and let him come down to me, Goliath shouted. If he is able to fight with me and kill me, then we will be your servant. But if I kill him, then you shall be our servant and serve us. All the men of Israel when they saw the giant fled from him and were dreadfully afraid. Then David said to Saul, 
that no man's heart fail because of him. Your servant will go and fight with this priest. Saul wanted David to wear armor and carry a sword. Instead, David took his string and pickled five smooth stones from the brook. Goliath laughed when he saw that young David wasn't even wearing armor. I will keep you fresh to the birds of the air and the beast of the field, he roared. I come to you in the name of the Lord, David answered. This day, the Lord will deliver you into my hands. But the battle is the Lord's. Then David ran straight toward Goliath. As he ran, he fired one stone from his sling right into Goliath's forehead. Goliath fell. David quickly drew Goliath's huge sword and cut off his head. When the Philistines saw Goliath dead, they ran for their lives. King Saul did not remember that this was the same David who had suited him with the herb. He put David in charge of his army. Then God serves when the people honored David victories. Now, what more can he have but the kingdom? So thought. So Saul eyed David from that day forward. Again, King Saul's mind was troubled. So David played music to try and soothe him. Three times Saul threw his spear at David, but David escaped each time. Saul was afraid of David because he knew the Lord was with him, but had departed from Saul. But Jonathan saw Sam loved David as a brother. My father Saul seeks to kill you. He warned David. So David escaped his wife, put the dummy in his bed and let David down from the window in the middle of the night. When Saul's men came in the morning, David was gone. David had to flee far away from Saul. Before he did, he and Jonathan made a con covenant together. They promised they would always help each other. Sadly, the two friends said goodbye. David set out to find a place where he could live without fear of Saul's soldiers finding him. David, the shepherd boy, a story from God's word, the Bible is found in 1 1 Samuel. 16 to 20. The entrance of your words gives light. Psalm 119, 130. The end.